In this InDesign tutorial, let's look at how to make a rectangle in your InDesign document. So there's actually a rectangle tool, and the shortcut key for that is M. It's over here in your tool panel. We click and hold. You can see rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool. So with the rectangle tool selected, we can click out here on our canvas to create a rectangle at a specific width and height. Or we can just click and drag to draw a rectangle. Now, what this rectangle looks like depends on your fill and your stroke settings. So you see, I created an outlined rectangle. Now I'm gonna press the V key to go to my selection tool and then click off that rectangle to deselect it. You can see I just have an outline. The reason for that is over here, I had no fill selected, but I did have a stroke selected. So these two options here determine what your rectangle looks like. Now, if we select this rectangle by clicking on it, or I like to click and drag and just make sure I get selected exactly what I want. On the right hand side, there's an appearance panel now for this rectangle. We can do a lot of different options. We can fill it with a color. So we can select the color that fills the rectangle. The stroke is around the outside. That was black at one point. I could make this nothing just by clicking on the swatch and clicking none. So now I don't have a stroke, I just have a fill of pink. I could also change the corner radius and the corner type. So I could go to a rounded corner and then I could up the corner radius if I want to. Now we have a rounded rectangle. Then we could change opacity and we could apply other effects to it like drop shadow, etc. And by the way, before you make a rectangle, when you have that rectangle tool selected, you can make your adjustments here. So maybe I wanted to flip these two, click this double-ended arrow. Now it's a fill with no stroke. And so this will just make a black rectangle. Also, one last tip, if you hold shift while you're creating your rectangle, it'll actually create a perfect square. So if you need a perfect square, just hold shift while you're using that rectangle tool. And that is how you can use the rectangle tool here in InDesign.